The statement of work approach is something which I think has made the greatest amount of ground in America with a lot of staffing companies having a look at growing their sales and margin by, if you like, stealing from consultancies work that really is just dressed up staffing so that they supply a worker to deliver a pre-scoped deliverable for a fixed price and get a better margin for it that would previously have been something that say you know one of the big consultancies like Deloitte or you know Accenture would have taken on but now staffing company says well I'll have that and yes they get paid a fixed price for it of course they can break down that fixed price into monthly installments so from a cash flow perspective it's just really the same as what they've always done and from a risk perspective if they properly manage the content of the contract and what their liability levels are it shouldn't be any different from being a staffing company the reason we think it'll grow in the UK is that in addition to those positive things for a staffing company which should also be positives for the hire because even though the staffing company margin goes up it's still going to be cheaper than using Accenture etc um, is that it also gets round legitimately a lot of the current problems with growth in tax and regulatory risk relating to the use of contract workers if a worker is supplied on a statement of work basis and it's a genuine pre-scoped deliverable project that they're working on for example a personal service company contractor HMRC can have no question but that that is a genuine self-employed arrangement where the worker is entitled to be paid gross and uh, we're you know going to see this more and more it's certainly happening in Germany it's definitely happening in America partly because in both of those countries if the worker is misclassified the HARA is liable for the tax and social security that should otherwise have been deducted. And we think things are going to move that way in the UK, especially perhaps with the large international hiring organisations who are used to engaging contract workers, contingent workers, personal service company workers on a statement of work basis in other countries because of the risks elsewhere. I think we'll see that happening in, in the UK as well.